Here with Washington State players Ula Motuga and freshman Estera Tujina. Uh, ladies, the Cougs lost to number 11 Utah 71-66. Uh, very, very close, tight battle with a shorthand team. Ula, just we'll start with you. Just talk a little bit about just the grit and the effort that you guys showed in the second half to help make that comeback and kind of scrap and claw your way back in the game against the number 11 team in the nation without your leading score. Yeah, um, I think the let's just focus on the second half, actually, because that was a pretty one. The thing that we were really good at was just forcing them into contested shots and obviously um, pushing as fast as we can purely because they do send four to the boards so many um, times and pretty much the entire game that's their plan and that's why they're so good um, in terms of offensive rebounding and second chance points. But um, I think we did a great job of just making them take hard contested shots, securing the rebound and obviously um, having people leak out and get fast break points to be able to balance it out. We'll go ahead and open the floor up for questions. Go ahead and state your name and ask your question. Uh, Colton Clark from the Spokesman Review. I guess for either of you, I, w what was the talk in the locker room and kind of limiting your guys' turnovers and, and, and handling their pressure a little bit more and how do you feel you were able to do that in the, in the second? Well, I think in the first half, we didn't handle very well their press. And we were like kind of uh, not dribbling the ball, and we were trying just to pass, and they stole a lot of the, those balls, which they were having really easy points on this. But then in the locker room, uh, we talked about how to manage that better, I guess, and like we were dribbling and going faster, so we didn't have to like they didn't we didn't have as many turnovers as in the first yeah. half. Uh, Ula, for you, I guess, just how difficult is it to make up for the absence of somebody like uh, Charlize, who's leading the Pac-12 in scoring, and, and how would you kind of just assess your the team's ability to do so in the second half and, and you know, readjust and, and sort of find more of a balanced effort there? Yeah. Um, I think the entire, like, just leading up to this game, it's hard because obviously everyone says, you know, Charlize is amazing. She scores 20 points and um, – X amount of assists, but they don't really understand how important she is on the other side of the ball. She's huge on defense for us. She guards the best player on the opposite, opposite team every night. And so not having her was difficult for everyone. Um, and having to, I guess, pour in extra than what we normally do to be able to cover that hole. But I think credit to AT. She did a great job in her first ever career start. It's a huge game for her. Um, she logged pretty much 40 minutes. <laughs> taking out like the extra 30, uh, 13 seconds, but she was great today. Uh, distributed the ball well, got us into sets. And I think um, obviously not having Charlize was good for us in being able to take more responsibility. I think we place a lot on her shoulders when she's here and we say every day, we're like, go score 20. But this was good in forcing other people to contribute um, on offense and defense and obviously giving AT the experience that she needed uh, moving forward for the rest of the season. Again, for for either of you, regardless of the loss, how much do you feel like this game and and you know being able to see yourselves uh, have a rally like that in the second half? That how much do you do you think this maybe gives you a little bit of momentum early and and maybe maybe not momentum is the right word, but but you know you know yeah. uh, just just kind of confidence and knowing that that you know on one of the only undefeated team in the Pac-12, regardless of the adversity you're facing, that opening standard Pac-12 play with a with an effort like this. Yeah. Good. Uh, I think this helped us a lot to see that we can we are we can do much more than we think probably and I think after the first half when we were down by 16 18, 18 um, we didn't like gave up and we came back in the third quarter in the first 5 minutes and we did a great job especially in scouting and I think we, we were doing that the entire game and also the rebounding. We were pretty good at that because their team is, uh, they go a lot to the offensive rebound and they got only 12, which is pretty good. Yeah, um, Stefan Wiebe with the Lewiston Tribune. Um, maybe for both of you, obviously you guys both hit uh, some big three pointers that kind of started that stretch. I guess what are you guys kind of thinking in those moments and, and what did it kind of feel for you guys when you kind of knew you guys had some momentum there in that second half? Well, I don't really think we we think that much in those moments. Like, we're playing the game. We don't really think about if we're losing, if we're winning. It's just 
we get the ball and we shoot it and we try to score it. I don't know. Yeah, I think um, we just do a good job of finding each other, especially. We moved the ball quite well. I think ATs came off of someone's assist, so all of our shots were assisted rather than just coming into it and dribbling and shooting it. Um, but no, I think it gave us a lot of momentum. And it like for any team in such a close situation like that, when someone hits a big three, it sucks. Like when it's on you and your own defense kind of thing. So I think it's a bit demoralizing nonetheless, but um, for the opposite team. But no, I think we just did great to make those shots and the team really put us in the best position to obviously um, shoot the ball and make it. And then uh, Ula, obviously we saw you with that, that huge block and you've, you've had plays like that before with a, a big play and, and kind of celebrating. Did they explain the technical foul at all? And I guess just your thoughts on, on that. Yeah, um, they did not explain it. I think I sort of also just walked away as soon as I realized, but that's on me um, to not put myself in that position the hardest thing is like the girl who I blocked we've known each other since we were 12 so you know anytime you play against a kid who you've grown up with it's always going to be a heated exchange or you're going to talk during the game to each other and stuff like that but um, I probably should have just not been as emotional and let it get to me and rather just turn around and yeah just be better <laughs> and not get a tech next time. How much did you like the, that shot attempt uh, that late with the, the 20 seconds or so on the uh, on the clock at the tie. Uh, was that pretty much what had been drawn up? Yeah, I think uh, Coach E did a, obviously drop a great play to get me in the best position. Yo curled and um, my player helped in on Yo and Bella. And so obviously I popped out. Um, but no, uh, just I guess not <laughs> wasn't meant to be. But I'm um, grateful that obviously I was trusted to make that shot and that my teammates put me in the best spot to make the shot but just didn't go in today.